Hi everyone, happy December, happy Friday. I just wanna put up a quick video for all of you who have a take it and make it kit at home with you today. So I am gonna turn my camera down, but I'm doing a small scale version. I'm quickly gonna show you um, how to paint with a baby wipe, how to distress with a baby wipe, and a new method on how to apply those stencils called the hinge method. Um, it's super, super easy. It's a lot less stressful. Okay, so I won't keep this long. I'm going to flip my camera down here as best as I can. I'm still learning this tech stuff that I'm not good at. Okay, so I have a baby wipe and I have paint. I'm going to fold my baby wipe. I just always fold it in half and in half again, so like in quarters. And I take the corner here like this, dip it in really not too much. I know it's a little hard to see because it's white paint on a white wipe, but just a tiny bit. You can even dab a little bit off on the cup if you get too much. And you are literally just wiping that board down with this wipe. Now, the more you wipe, the more wood grain you're going to see, the more of a stained look it's going to give you. Um, this is white paint. So obviously white paint is not as dramatic as let's say brown or black, a, a deeper color. You're really going to notice that change there um, with a deeper color. You'll see it just really, really lessen the more that you wipe. But white is no exception. I mean, the more you wipe it, the lighter it gets. And you can start to see that wood grain coming through. Sometimes I will go around the edges with a little extra paint, kind of like I just did to clean up, because I don't really want this to look perfect. I want it to look a little distressed. So I'll do that. Now this is chalk paint. It dries really, really fast. So I'll just take my stencil really quickly and give it a quick little dry here like this, but then I can go right in and distress it. You do not have to do this next step. This is completely a preference thing. When you're distressing, you're gonna take your wipe just like you did before, only this time you really wanna make sure you dab off that paint, okay? I have a little plate in front of me here, so I'm just gonna dab some off. You don't want much paint on that wipe at all. And unlike what we just did where we wiped the entire board, this time we're just gonna go in and barely touch that board. You're just gonna take a couple of stripes Let's say it that way. Not across the whole thing. We're not covering the whole thing. We're just touching a few spots. And while that paint is wet, flip your wipe where there's no paint very, very lightly. I'll get a little closer. Very lightly rub where you just distressed and it kind of melts that distress into the wood. So if you want a heavy distress, you might not want to wipe it off at all. If you want a subtle distress, you can go ahead and wipe. The only thing is don't wipe too much. If you wipe too much, the paint will come off and you'll start to see just the wood board again. You'll have to kind of repeat what you did. So that's it. That's how we paint with a baby wipe and distress with a baby wipe. So for time's sake, I did it on the other side. So now this is completely dry. Once it's completely dry, you're gonna take your sandpaper that's in your kit and you're gonna sand. Nothing too crazy. You know, you just want to make sure that it's nice and smooth um, and you'll feel it. I always tell people, feel your board before and then feel it after you've given it a nice sand. You'll feel how soft it gets. And if you do miss a spot, you'll notice it once you rub your hand over that board. You can definitely feel it. Um, people always ask if they go with the grain, away from the grain. I go both ways, really. I just want to make sure that it's nice and smooth. And I use my hand to wipe the dust, which is a bad habit. You should use a paper towel. So if you have a paper towel, use a paper towel. But my hands are always gross, so I just use my hands. Okay, so this is where the really cool part comes in. This is the new way to apply our stencils. I'm gonna take my stencil just as is. Don't take anything off. Lay it on your board and play with it. See if it's straight, see if it looks good to you, okay? There's no way to mess this step up because the backing is still on it. It's not sticky yet. So once you're happy, you're gonna take the painter's tape that you originally got in your kit. It was holding your stencil onto the wood and you're gonna lay it down across your stencil, just like this, okay? Now I always make sure that the tape wraps 
around the edge, the top and the bottom. This way the stencil is not moving. It's not going anywhere. Once you've done that, now you're gonna fold one side, okay? This is that grid paper. Make sure you can see this. I'm gonna take this grid paper, just the grid paper, and I'm gonna roll it off. Now, if you have any blue, like there's some blue sticking here, just stop, rub it back. Don't be afraid, this is pliable. You know, I'm not saying, you know, wrestle the thing, but don't be afraid to bend it because the more you bend it, the easier it is to get this clean. You want it to look like this, no blue on this paper. Once you have that, you're gonna take a pair of scissors and you're gonna cut just this grid paper. You're gonna cut it up as close as you can get to that painter's tape. Just make sure you don't cut your stencil. This, put it to the side. Now you're able to take from this painter's tape and lay this down onto your board and just smooth it out just a little, okay? So now this is what we have. We have half of it stuck, taped, and not stuck at all, right? This is where you can mess up. So please pay attention to this next step. You have to take this tape off, okay? I had a party where it was a big party and it was mobile and two people did not take the tape off. Well, once they took this side off, now they had a nice strip of grid paper right here in the middle of their stencil. So it was able to be fixed, but since I'm not there with you to fix it, please take your tape off. And don't be afraid because look, it's stuck on that one side. It's not going anywhere. So you're just gonna take that tape off, don't forget. Now you can peel back the rest, repeat that step that we just did. Get all of that grid paper off nice and clean. And same deal, you're just gonna take it, push it down with your hand and lay it down flat. Now this is then where you'll take a credit card, a gift card, something that you have hard and plastic at home and you'll go ahead and smooth that down. Now don't forget, you have to take the stencil off. So you don't wanna take you know, your week's worth of anger or your year's worth of anger out on this poor board. Just make it so that it's on there, okay? Last step before we paint is we take this clear tape off. Now, I do cut these stencils down for you now to make this step work. And because of that, there's not too much overhang so it is a little hard to get this started. If you struggle to get it started, in your kit, you have a thumbtack, okay? So if you can't get it started, just take your thumbtack and lift up like that, okay? Don't, don't fight it, it's, it's not worth it. So then once you get that corner started, you're just gonna go ahead and roll this grid, I'm sorry, this clear tape off of that stencil. Now this needs a little bit of muscle. Just make sure you take the time to roll it. Don't pull it up because you don't wanna pull that stencil off. And just make sure that all of your blue stencil is staying on the wood where it belongs. Don't let anything come up with that clear tape. If it does, just push it back down. But as long as you roll, oh look, it's happening with mine. See how that right here, the blue is starting to stay on my clear tape. So I'm just gonna stop give it a little push and then roll it again. Sometimes if it is really stubborn, like this one is for some reason, just use your finger. Just be aware because you don't want it to rip. So you're gonna peel the rest of that off. This is trash, just toss it to the side. Okay, so that's it. The next step is the painting of this. So. I'll post another video so this one's not too long for anyone who needs that, but that is the, the gist of it. That is how you're gonna get this on your board. So I hope this is a lot easier for you. Enjoy and don't forget to post pictures and tag the studio so that I can see your finished work. I miss that, I miss your faces and I miss seeing your um, finished products the most. All right, stay safe guys. Thank you, bye.